Good morning, Pally. Today is Thursday, September 26, 2024. I'm Divya Pubba. And I'm Nicole Liu. Nicole, I'm so lucky to be doing what I love with my best friend by my side. Uh, you're not my best friend. What do you mean? Can you at least pretend for the show? Okay, okay. Thanks. Spirit Week shirts are available for sale on the ASP web store. Be sure to purchase them while you still can. Also, Spirit Week dance practices are happening at lunch. Check your class Instagram to see when dance practices are scheduled. Hey Vikings, Pally Agora Magazine is America's first high school foreign affairs publication and they're looking for new staff writers. If you're interested in foreign affairs, you should sign up. It's an opportunity to take part in the magazine. And there are open editor positions waiting to be filled. The first meeting will be in room 805 on Friday, September 27. For more information, please contact Mr. Yonkers or sign up at the link on screen to be added to the email list. Pally Theater One Acts are playing this weekend on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is the Pally Theater website for showtimes. Here's In Focus reporter Lucas Puebla with more. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing, end them to die, to sleep no more. And by a sleep to say, we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Make sure you come on down to the PAC for Theater One X. You could come down on Friday and Saturday from 7 to 9 p.m. or on Sunday from 2 to 4 p.m. Make sure you support your actors. Don't miss it. Tis a consumption devoutly to be wished, wow, to die, to sleep, really to sleep for chance to dream. To to Aye, there's the rub. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. Thanks, Lucas. Palo Alto has multiple forms of public transportation for people to get around. In Focus reporter Om Rajan tried the most prominent ones and reviewed them. In our community, many people are unsure about the benefits of public transportation. Today, I'm going to show you the best ways to get around our area. First, I went to the Caltrain. Caltrain recently went electric, resulting in massive changes. The trains are clean and are very quiet. The new cars are incredible, with comfortable seats, displays for guidance, ports for charging devices, and even brand new spaces to lock your bike. There is even onboard Wi-Fi, letting you utilize the time spent on the Caltrain to the fullest. However, the best thing about Caltrain is its new $1 one-way fare and $2 day pass for youth. It is also decently fast, being 15 minutes to Hillsdale and 45 minutes to SF. Caltrain covers locations from Gilroy all the way to San Francisco, making it very useful and convenient for long distances. Next, the Stanford Margaret Shuttle is fairly useful for traveling around the Stanford campus. The seats are very comfortable and it is not that crowded, giving you a lot of space. To top it off, it is completely free. However, it is only useful for traveling on that side of town. On the other hand, the VTA covers many major areas of Palo Alto and is also quite comfortable. It is very cheap, coming at the cost of $1.25 for a single ride and $3.75 for a day pass. However, the wait times can be very long, sometimes up to 30 to 40 minutes. Another mode of public transportation is the Palo Alto Link. The Palo Alto Link is a ride share service specifically for the city of Palo Alto. I had high expectations going into it, but was extremely disappointed. Not only was the wait time around 30 minutes, but I had to walk around 5 to 7 minutes to get to a pickup location. However, the cost is only $1 for youth, and it is very spacious. Overall, I would recommend the Caltrain for a long distance transportation with its cheap and enjoyable ride paired with its speed and massive range. Next. The VTA is also great with its area of coverage and cost. 
it is very useful for moving from one end of the city to another. However, I would not recommend using the Stanford Margaret Shuttle or the Palo Alto Link, unless in a very specific circumstance and you have planned ahead. Biking is generally a safer option than both of them. That was my recommendation on some of the best methods of public transportation in Palo Alto. For In Focus, I'm Om Rajan, co-reporting with Divya Pabba. Thanks Om, that does it for today's show. Follow us on social media at In Focus News to engage with our content. And visit our website to view today's campus bulletin. Until next time, I'm Divya Pabba. I'm Nicole Liu and this has been In Focus News. Have a great day Vikings. Yeah.